Reforce from XTS Gaming with Striker from XTS Gaming looking at the new frames per second increase after the patch. Yeah, the first up it. is the Mantle, which is a low level programming that allows the developers to access the game directly without the use of DirectX 11. And we implemented this with the new AMD 14.1 Catalyst beta drivers. This is Striker's setup. He's using an i7-975. And his baseline frame rates were listed here. And the surprising thing is that with Mantle, there was no significant change at every any level. This was kind of disappointing, but what I could figure is basically there was no bottleneck between his CPU and his GPU, and Mantle seems to help out the processors that are bottlenecking the GPU and frees that up and gives people better frame rates. And from what's been published, anywhere from 14 to 25 percent on single GPUs, mostly AMD processors used with AMD cards. The significant increase was posted up there on the forums with two AMD cards in Crossfire with an Intel processor, surprisingly enough. We set up a config file that basically utilizes the cores of your CPU. And I'll post in the end of the video the link to the forum on how basically to do this. But basically you insert this one line config file into your root directory in Battlefield 4 and you insert that same line into your profile in Battlefield 4. And what I was hoping to see was a significant frame rate improvement but again what I saw was the same as Mantle. There was no significant improvement with this particular setup. I'm hoping that the improvements to Mantle will increase the frame rates for the people with AMD cards because that would be a significant improvement over the gameplay but we'll have to wait and see what time and future patches bring. Panzer's Fist was able to realize frame rates of about 100 or 80 to 100 in Ultra using the new Mantle. And I was also being encouraged by what another one of our squad makes private parts to try the config file set up on my system, which is an i7-970 with the EVGA 770GTX 4GB card. And levels before doing the GST config file change. And here they are after. The weird thing is, is the low doesn't improve much. Uh, the medium does improve somewhat. The high, same thing. But the ultra is amazing. I can basically run this, this game on ultra at a very high frame rate. Private Parts from XTS Gaming was running an AMD processor and dual 5770 cards in Crossfire and was getting amazing frame rates, 90 plus. In this case, with Striker's rig with the Intel processor and the MSI 7790, with Mantle there wasn't a significant imp improvement in frame rate, neither was the config file fix, but with the EVGA 770 4 gigabyte, there was a significant increase in frame rates on Ultra, especially with the config file GST rendering. It did work for everybody in our group. It worked for several people, and it just kind of varied. There's AMD processors and uh, NVIDIA cards, or AMD processors and AMD cards, and they both saw some improvement. And then others with basically AMD setups and even a 7970 card uh, did not see the improvement. So it's pretty variable on this config fix, who gets an improvement, but I would encourage you to check it out and see if it works for you. For now, this is GeForce from XTS Gaining, signing off.